this is Ray at Drop of Golden Tarot. And today I am going to do the Witches. Ah, I have it upside down. The Witches Moon unboxing. So this is April of 2001. Which is moon. And, uh, they always smell so good as you, ooh, as we see this, we're gonna take all of this artwork out and kind of flip it over. And let me adjust the camera just a little bit better so we get the whole box in, okay. So let's open this up. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got quite a few different things. Um, where to start, where to start? Um, let's start with this. We have Beltine Blessing Sacred Salt. And we'll open that up and all the good herbs and stuff that they pack in here. Oh, that smells so good. Um, bath salts, I love these bath salts. Uh, a hint that I got from, uh, oh, I'll have to do a placard that I got from another person was putting those bath salts in like a muslin tea bag so the herbs don't get all over everywhere. It makes it easier to clean. We have our oil called the Weaver. Magical anointing oil. And I love their oils too. Oh. That's kind of got a vanilla -y smell to it. Oh, that is delightful. I really like that. We have our herbs that they give us to work with. Well, I'm not gonna know how to say that. Black cohosh. St. John's wort and blue cornflower. So those are our herbs for the month. And our spell candle, which I always have a hard time opening. <laughs> Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that. I'm kind of looking in the camera and that color is pretty true to what I'm seeing where I'm filming it, um, maybe, no, in real life, it's just a little bit, a little bit more purple, a little less of that blue periwinkle, a little bit more of a, a lilac, lavender color. That is pretty. Um, okay. Okay. And we have a little stone here. Now I have a piece of this Argonaut. Is that what it is? I think so. I'll be interested to read. But I do have a piece of this stone. So this is a, a pretty sample though. I'll put that there. Okay, I don't know what this, I mean, I've got yarn. <laughs> it's got a lot of these little, kind of, they're kind of tangled. This might not have been the best idea just to put this in here without something around that yarn. Oh, 
Okay, so these look like they're going to be individual pieces too. They're cut ends here. So I've got this yarn. Oh, oh, okay, just a second. What is this? Oh, okay. Actually, this is a hanging. All right. I may have to wait and zoom out so that you can see this. But it's a hanging. It's on a nice size thick stick. I'll be interested. Oh, interested to read this. Here's our incense called Manifest this month. And kind of I like that. It's kind of, it's kind of light. It reminds me of a, a men's cologne, just a little bit, like a very light. Uh, I almost feel like I maybe dated somebody who smelled kind of like that. Hmm? It's not an unpleasant smell. It must have been an okay relationship. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? A wooden offering bowl. So that is it in the box. So let me remove the box and kind of get our things back here. That we have oh don't forget the stone and then this weaving and let's see what we have for the paperwork so first thing we have is an oracle card I'm not aware of what deck this is from, but wasn't that nice healing? So, I wish upon, I'll just hold that there. That way if you want to pause and read, you will be able to. And then our artwork, we have two, okay, two separate pieces of artwork. Oh, sorry about bumping that. Spirits of Fate. Oh, and because that's in the plastic, it's gonna shine. So I'll kind of hold it like this. We'll go up and up again. Traditionally, fate acts as a power or agency which predetermines and or orders a course of events. A concept that the universe cosmos existence operates within a fixed natural order. Perhaps best known mythological pers personifications are the female Greek Memori, Clotho the Spinner, Lachis a Lotter, and Artropus the Unturnable. Talking about the, the fates, which makes sense. We've got weaving and weavers with their strings and how you cut it. And this says, to weave a wish. So this is our ritual for the month. Weaving a wish. And I think I have the glare off of there. And I'll bring it down so if you want to pause and read, you can. And then we will... this and read 
As we continue to work through magical processes and practices to strengthen our connection with all that surrounds us, we knowingly begin to create a woven tapestry of energy, intention, and experience. This tapestry is a manifestation of all of our actions and efforts. In a world where there is so much information competing for our attention, it's important that we harness these energies towards manifesting those things that we truly wish and yearn for. It is through this sacred practice that we do truly utilize our magical abilities. In this one-of-a-kind exclusive collection, we provide unique tools to push your intentions through to realization, connecting with sacred unknown, and leaning into the magical teaching of our guides. So we have the Hanging Hand Woven Tapestry with Teak Intentions Vessel. Okay, so our tap, our, our hand-woven hanging tapestry is this, and then this is this wood's teak then. It's very light, but you can tell it's real wood. So teak, very good. Um, to weave a wish book of shadow arts, hand rolled to wish upon a spell candle. Purple candle represents the soft but sure energies that are associated with magic. And imbu, a truly calm and supportive energy. Then we have to wish upon a, span, a spell candle artwork, art print. The Weaver Magical Anointing Oil. Does it say what's in the oil? Vanilla Almond Clove. Included lavender, dandelion leaf, and blue cornflower in, as well. And of course the Lumerian Quartz, which they almost always have in all of their oils. And included a special mixture of our fond Focus Magical Oil from our personal cab cabinet of witchery on a sunflower oil base. So I could smell that vanilla and that almond. And, oh, I love those smells. Um, black cohosh root. Um, let's see. Protective qualities and its ability to place courage in the sacred and frantic, lessening stress and anxiety. Okay. St. John's wort. Um, used for protection, happiness, and strength. And blue cornflower, used for psychic development and increasing effectiveness during divinatory practices. Argonite crystal, so that was an argonite. Um, it's a wonderful companion during times of overwhelming stress and anxiety. We have our manifest ritual sticks. This is a wonderful, vibrant, and floral scent from these incense sticks. Patchouli. Oh, it's patchouli. I love the smell of patchouli, so that's what I'm smelling. Um, Beltine Blessing Celebratory Sacred Salt. And do we have what's in here? Jasmine, rose oils, hawthorn, marigold, rosemary herbs. I think I can really smell that marigold in there. I really like it. Um, Spirits of Fate, Book of Shadows artwork. Okay, so the personal oracle reading is from the Magical Spell Cards deck by Lucy Kadavish. And then, of course, our parchment paper that they give us each time to be able to work for our rituals. They always give us a blank piece of parchment. So, yeah, this has been... And let me see... If I can, oh, I didn't think about how I was doing this. 